Think of your wish. Okay, I got it. Okay. Get them all. I just woke up at the beach. It's our first morning here and I have coffee and I'm gonna be walking down there because it is beautiful. It's like this at the beach in, in, I guess we're not in Washington, but even in Oregon on the coast, they're few and far between, at least I feel like they are. You don't get a sunny, beautiful day very often. They're usually um, a bit on the chilly side and rainy. So this is gonna be a beautiful day. Look at it, look what we've got going on down there. Oh yeah. This guy just jumped across the road. I need him. Apparently the place that we're staying at Cannon Beach um, is known for having rabbits everywhere and I'm not talking like the wild little rabbits that you see where we live. These look like house Easter bunnies all over. White, gray, black, tan, brown. I need to take them all home with me. I'm gonna try to get a shot of one of them. thinking about how a lot of the times we use food as emotion something to emotionally excite us we get excited about it good food tastes good and there's emotions tied to sitting around a kitchen table with your favorite people and enjoying something delicious and being here at the beach just reminds me that you can get so much happiness and joy out of experiences, way more than you're ever going to with food. And I think that instead of searching for a, you know, a delicious treat to get that, we should really be filling our time with experiences because being here right now, if you guys can see this, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Door, front door. What's that in our yard? Freaking bunny. Is it the black one? Yes. I told you it's a buddy. Do you have a berry? Fine. Berries. Don't do it that time. Oh, that got rabbit and he loves them. It's a real day. Hey, don't doubt my abilities. Well, I guarantee you, left hand is hard. Who is really in the middle of a mafia thing? Oh, he's not going for it. He's still eating the other one. The area is Donnie Brasker and Lucero. He's looking. Not just skis together. He says, oh my gosh, What do you got there? Blackberry. <laughs> yep. Oh. <gasps> Go get he it. He got it. He says, oh my gosh. I just love these blackberries. Oh, yum, 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 yum. What is that? Yum, 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 yum. Hey guys, I look like a total scrap right now, but <laughs> I was in the middle of cooking dinner and I thought I should hop on here and record a little bit um, so you guys can see what I'm making. It's Tuesday and we were at the beach all weekend and my parents actually house sat for us and watched my dog. So when we got home Sunday, my mom had made spaghetti from the ingredients I had bought to make spaghetti for Danny's birthday and then our propane ran out so I never got to make it so she actually cooked that for us which was really nice so we had that for dinner Sunday night and Monday so now I'm cooking dinner um, the first dinner I've had to make since we got back and it's one of my favorite recipes on our blog it is the chicken alfredo artichoke bake <laughs> um, the first time I made this and on the recipe I actually used like shredded chicken this time I was way lazier and so I just bought ground chicken and so right now I'm cooking that in a pan and um, I'll show you the rest 
So I have my artichokes um, already. I got them out of the can and then I just cut them up a little bit more than what they come as. I didn't want them to be huge chunks. Um, there's my spaghetti squash. I already cooked that and have that out in the bowl and it was weighed. It was 750 grams. Um, I got this, this in my veggie box that we're still getting, so that was really awesome. I'm excited about that. And then green chilies. So I'm going to combine the chicken, the spaghetti squash, the green chilies, the artichoke hearts, and the Alfredo sauce. Put them all together, some seasoning, and throw them in a pan and bake that. And I'll show you guys the finished product. You can see here I have the artichokes, the green chilies, the chicken, and I'm going to add some Alfredo sauce and then my spaghetti squash. Mix that all up and throw it in the pan. There it is, guys, out of the oven. Still bubbling. That's going to be so good. Anyways, hope you guys give this recipe a try and like it as much as I do. I'm getting ready to leave for the gym, but I wanted to throw together um, some stuff in my crock pot really quick, so I was going to show you guys a new recipe real fast before I head out the door. Um, I have butternut squash, carrots, onions on hand that I need to use up. So I figured why not try homemade butternut squash soup. It's one of my favorites, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, the first recipe I found said to roast your butternut squash first, and I'm sure that does add a nice flavor to it, but nobody got time for that this morning. So I'm going to show you guys um, everything I'm putting in the crock pot. Okay, so first I'm weighing out my empty crock pot. It's seven pounds, and I'm gonna write that on this piece of paper. I'm gonna show you guys how to figure out a recipe by the ounce, so you don't always have to have the same serving size every time you eat something out of that recipe. So now that we know what that weighs, let's zero that out. We're gonna put the butternut squash in. It didn't zero, so let's try that again. There we go. I just want to make sure that we're on ounces. Yes, okay. So zero. So one pound, five ounces of the squash. I'm going to write that down. And then the recipe I said, or I have said to add um, carrots and onions. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so I added the carrots. I just had some of these organic peeled carrots in my fridge that I needed to use up. I had diced onions, threw those in there with the butternut squash, and then I put salt, pepper, cayenne, um, and then some pumpkin spice seasoning. The recipe is calling for apples, so I'm gonna put a little bit of apple in it, and then finish it off with um, two cups of bone broth, and then you put it on for about six to eight hours on low. So we will give that a try. And if you guys are looking for um, cheap organic bone broth, Grocery Outlet, actually our Grocery Outlet, I'm not sure if all of them do, but ours has a really awesome organic section. And you can get a lot of these things for a lot cheaper than you could at, let's say, Safeway or Fred Meyer. And so this is all the stuff that I have in the crock pot right now. It's important to write the total weights of everything down um, when you're writing out a recipe because later on we're going to need to know all of these when we enter our recipe into my fitness pal. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this turns out. The broth, uh, the recipe called for vegetable broth and I only had chicken broth on hand so I feel like that's going to be okay but we'll see. Just got back from the gym and my house smells wonderful. Oh yeah, look at that simmer. Low quality lighting, but what can you do? I just got home, I met up with Kate for a couple hours tonight and um, got home and the stuff I'd put in the crock pot is ready to go. So I have it in my blender right now, I'm blending it up. Um, the last ingredient after everything is cooked, when you put it in your blender, is a half a cup of coconut milk, just to make it really creamy and rich. So um, yeah, I have it in the blender and we'll see how it goes. So I just got done blending it and I'm going to give it, there it is, in all its glory, a taste test. That is so good. 
I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe a little bit of garlic powder. Um, <laughs> the recipe did call for, for cayenne pepper and I was being really lazy and I just lightly sprinkled it over the stuff I had thrown in the crock pot and it's pretty spicy. My mouth's a little on fire right now, but um, I will definitely be making this again um, next time. I'm actually going to add a little bit of garlic salt to what I have in this blender right now. I think that's all it needs, but it is so good and that coconut milk made a huge difference. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and again, thank you for watching as always. We really appreciate you guys subscribing to our channels and watching our videos. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, do it now and if you guys have any questions or any requests on a recipe that you want to be following, I'm happy to do so. Leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later.